Yo tout le monde, c'est Raziel, j'espère que vous allez bien et on se retrouve pour l'épisode euh, 5, euh, 5, 5, déjà 5, ouh là là ça va vite, 5 partie 2 les amis, euh, ce qu'on va faire aujourd'hui, et eh bien euh, c'est continuer l'histoire, on s'est arrêté et je pense qu'on on devait retrouver Asher cette fois-ci à Marine, Marine, tellement chou comme nom, du coup voilà, on va avancer dans l'histoire et voir un peu tout ce qui va se passer. Ah là là, toujours un plaisir de revenir sur ce jeu. Game of Thrones. J'adore ce jeu. De toute façon, les Telltale, faut dire ce qui est, c'est vraiment des jeux à part entière. Où, où l'action n'est pas vraiment là, mais en même temps, elle est là. C'est difficile à dire, il faut y jouer pour comprendre et... Et même s'il n'y a pas beaucoup d'actions faites à la manette, il euh, y a tellement de choix à faire que tu as été vraiment plongé dans l'histoire. Et euh, tu... c'est vraiment RP en fait comme jeu. On se met à la place du personnage, les choix à prendre et tout, des décisions, des choses à faire. Enfin voilà, je vous laisse profiter. Previously on Game of Thrones. This looks like the place. <laughs> This is definitely the place. It's looked like the place. So, who are we dealing with? Exactly? Bon, recrutons une armée, les gars. Two go in, one comes out, day after day. No rules, but kill anyone who can survive. C'est quand même une règle hein, de tuer. Anything. They're crazed savages. Ah, oh, j'aime bien les les, les fous but sauvages. One pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. Yeah, I will convince them. To be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you are. Je sais comment me les mettre dans la poche, t'inquiète. Euh... Euh... <rire> Le chien qui se balade avec la main. Oh là là. <rire> Ouais, mais non, je veux pas aller regarder toutes les taches de sang, il y en a partout. Euh, C'est en mode. Euh... Dragon Oh, c'est pas grave, c'est pas grave. C'est pas grave, mec, t'en as deux, t'en as deux, t'en as deux, t'en as deux. T'as deux poumons, t'inquiète, t'inquiète. Ah bah non, t'en as plus. Au revoir. Euh. Oh, des têtes. Michel, Mathieu, Jean, Jacques et euh, Philippe. Let's hope our heads Je les connaissais. Hein. Philippe, il tire la gueule quand même. Hein. Surtout quand je lui mets mon, mon joystick dans la bouche. Euh... Hello. Uh, one last thing. A fat boy. You're really any highborn pricks of lily white asses like you, little brother. I can handle this. Oh, after you then. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back the way you came before I decide to eat you. No. I'll start with your eyeballs. Fucking juicy when they pop, and then I'll pull out your little bones to pick my teeth with. You think I'm scared of you? Why don't you threaten me one more time and see what happens? You listen to me, little man. You've got to the count of three to turn around. Et en plus, il s'est compté jusqu'à trois, mais c'est qu'il est malin, le gros. One, two. I like this one. Hey, Abaya! Company! Je t'avais dit que je savais me mettre dans la poche. Il me pouffe dans la main. Je l'aime bien, ce gros. Enfin, ce gros, ce monsieur. La bête. Il s'appelle The Beast. Is that a pit? Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits, where things could get really nasty. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ouais. Au pire, je m'en fous. Hein. Euh, il a été à pas avoir des esclaves, ce mec. Ça me regarde pas, ça me regarde pas. Moi, je suis là pour une armée. That's Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Et si elle le fait, que... et si elle fait autre chose que la couper, ce serait mieux. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. My name is Asher Forrester. I've traveled all the way from Westeros. I'd suggest you go back there. It's not safe here for outsiders. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Enough! I didn't come to hear your bickering. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> Laisse-moi faire. My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. Fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? Je vais t'expliquer, ma fille. We don't have masters anymore. Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together, blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors mm. for thousands of years. C'est ce qu'ils veulent du sang, Amaya, de l'acier. Trust me. Et du gold for all of Maybe peut-être du sexe aussi. Hein. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Je savais que t'étais gay. Et j'ai rien contre les gays, hein. Well, come on! Let's see how you die! Hmm. Ou alors t'es bicurieux, monsieur. Why die in there? Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. Okay. Pas de souci. Pas de souci, pas de souci. Je gère. T'as bien une grande gueule, toi. Like 
Tu parles trop. Bien sûr. Alors, c'est parti, mon gaillard. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait ouais. yeah. Alors Tu t'es eu, tu t'es eu, tu t'es eu J'ai blessé ton joli petit visage, monsieur Oh. oh moi aussi je voulais ces armes là moi. Et la dernière arme. Alors I'm ready. Mais bien. Attends. Vas-y. Alors Ah Mais c'est qui fait le malin en plus T'inquiète pas mec, t'auras ce que tu veux. T'auras ce que tu veux. Alors Hein T'en veux encore Warriors, warriors I admire, 
and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose. To save innocence and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. Bon, and to those too craven to join me, to hell with you. Et bim Et maintenant, vous croyez qu'il me respecte Bref, revenu au mur Avec euh... Hello Hello La scie ne marche pas. They won't die. Anything can be killed. Non, il faut du ver dragon. Ah tu m'auras pas Bestiole à la con Le mieux c'est du ver dragon. Enfin, je suppose que ça s'appelle comme ça encore. La jambe c'était juste pour les ralentir, comme j'ai rien pour les tuer. Burn Brûle, c'est ça, brûle. Oh non. Finn. Oh, il faut fuir là, je pense. Hein. We make for the North Grove. We need to stick together. Let's go. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. Yes, Your Grace. I'd like to think we can be honest with one another. However, you're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. 
I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I asked a friend to help me. I see. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. This up. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Ça dépend. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bon bah du coup on avance, on avance. Où est-ce qu'on se retrouve là You think we hired this boat for nothing no, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. After you sold me out to Daenerys, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry, but you're my family, no matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. <laughs> An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. Hmm. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here. And you found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. <laughs> you are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Certain, c'est obligé. Iron from ice. 
Casting off. C'est un peu dire comme si euh, n'oublie pas d'où tu viens quoi. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures oh. out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Okay. Ah, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. <laughs> And you didn't even have to hide it. Bon, là, je vais devoir la jouer fine. Je veux que je la joue malin. Il est très observateur et très... Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Et il poisoned? comprend tout très vite. Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the north. Hmm. <laughs> Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. C'est vrai. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me, Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you, and will continue to do so, until you no longer prove useful. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, clearly. Which is why you're here, doing her bidding. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. Elle me défend même plus, donc bon. What should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I have to tell her something. Then lie. Tell her I intend to call Sansa. Varys, Jamie, give her a list of names and be done with it. Enough of this nonsense! 
You're wasting my time. Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Oh la la. Be careful who you trust. Hello leave? to you. Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. Do you have any? No, not about this. Hmm. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. <laughs> Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh... I, I didn't realize you two were... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. <laughs> Elle s'en va avec la couverture. I'll see you soon, I hope. Au revoir. Je retrouverai jamais ma couverture. Au revoir. All right then. I'm listening. <rire> oh mon dieu. Last night I couldn't I was having nightmares. So I Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. What? Le How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Ki? I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. Je te le promets. I'm asking you as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. Traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. You wanted me to say it, what? Rah. Is it going to be Sir Roiland or the Master? Sir Roiland or the Master? Sir Roiland. Sir Roiland. On va voir. Moi je dirais ce rôle. Vas-y, pousse la porte. Ce rôle. Non. Sérieux. Hey. Oh, my lord, you scared the bloody daylights out. What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Start talking. 
Yes. I have been working with the White Hills, my girl. but only because you stopped listening to reason. Did I now? You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. Don't you dare start making excuses. Excuses? Are you that naive? Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse oh car. Taking Duncan to High Point when what you needed was an experienced soldier. Shying away at every turn from a war you know is coming. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Royland. Hmm. You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. You betrayed us all, Royland. My father included. I've held true to what I believed, which is more than I can say for you. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all. I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Oh. Tu remets la faute sur moi, t'es sérieux? Just sentence me and be done with it. Tu vas crever. Roderick, you promised. Kill me. And Asha dies too. <laughs> Je sais très bien qu'Asher, il y a un piège avec lui. Ça peut pas être euh, trop beau pour... C'est trop beau pour être vrai dans Game of Thrones. Il y a toujours une couille qui se passe, donc... Euh... Royland said. We have donc, to un... warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Je savais pas trop quoi choisir. Aller vers la côte, aller. Putain, il y a trois choix et euh... on a aucun qui me paraît énormément bien. Donc. Euh... Smell that. We're almost there, Veska. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your love making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your Lord Brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Wrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A Lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the lord of the house, and he's been bred for it. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you, not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. Doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All men learn to love Roderick. Hmm. That's odd. The port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll Je pense qu'il y a un combat qui nous attend. Right. Sur ce, les amis, on va se laisser ici. Euh... En fait, non. En fait, non, 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 non. L'épisode durera un peu plus longtemps oh, parce que easy, je pense qu'on arrive à la fin de l'épisode et que et que. 
que si je m'arrête maintenant, ben, ça va faire un épisode de 10 minutes, même pas, et que je n'ai pas envie. Donc on va continuer. Autant pour moi. Euh, en fait, non. Non, non, non. On va se laisser ici. Sur ce, les amis, <coughs> euh, je vous dis à très bientôt pour la suite des aventures et le dernier épisode, euh, le, enfin, la dernière partie de l'épisode 5. Allez, salut <coughs>